Hey guys, magandang umaga or magandang gabi, depending on what time you're watching this video. My name is Monica and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today, we are finally watching the prequel series of Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. I am such a Game of Thrones fan. You can see I have all of the books right here in the background. The moment I was in it, I was in it. I was so, so excited for every episode that came out every week and every year that the new seasons were coming out. We won't talk about the finale. <laughs> Although I did actually make a whole video on why the finale was trash way back before I even did review content I just had to talk about it <laughs> But of course today we are watching the first episode of House of the Dragon So I understand this story is essentially going to be the reign of the Targaryens and how they got into power or how they stayed in power and maybe their downfall as well that might be the whole series I'm expecting lots of dragons I'm expecting a lot of incest <laughs> I'm expecting lots of long blonde hair and gorgeous outfits I will be making a house of the dragon playlist which I put above right now and all of the videos for that series will be going in that playlist but if you are already a subscriber of mine you will know that I try to theme my outfits based on what I'm watching in my videos and today we have gone for a specific look that I remember Daenerys wearing it was like a drop shoulder white dress. I've tried to up the gold jewelry that I've been wearing to try and get more of a regal feel. I know that gold is very prominent in the Targaryens, I believe. I'm pretty sure that their sigil was a golden dragon, but now I'm thinking maybe it was a red one or a silver one. I don't know. In my mind, it was gold. I don't know. <laughs> but without further ado, let's just get on with this video. <laughs> Okay, so I literally just spent the past 10 minutes creating a Now TV account for myself. I'm literally going to deactivate and delete my account the moment this show finishes. So 10 weeks of a Now TV membership, let's see. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I don't actually remember much from the trailers. I kind of like going into a show a little bit blind because I feel like I like to make guesses, like subconsciously I make guesses from trailers and I just want to hold off on doing that and go into the show just not knowing what to expect just enjoy it for what it is you know without like too many theories popping off in my head without my permission <laughs> but what I do remember from the trailer is that Matt Smith is in it I don't know who he is in the show brother or father of someone but oh my gosh and to show my support for Matt Smith not that I don't use this mug all the time but I have chosen to use my Dalek mug of course he is the doctor from Doctor Who he is the 11th doctor if you don't know the show very well he Mwah, fantastic. Love me some Matt Smith. <laughs> okay, so this episode is called The Heirs of the Dragon. It is 63 minutes long. These are gonna be some hefty episodes. I'm so excited. <laughs> you guys know I never read the description. Let's just get on with this. <laughs> King Jaehaerys reigned over nearly 60 years, but tragedy had claimed both his sons, leaving his succession in doubt. The king's eldest descendant and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen. Viserys? They really just be recycling their names, huh? The Prince Viserys. Yeah, we knew. Well, yeah, because that's who Viserys, Danny's brother, was named after, right? The only thing that could tear down the house of the dragon was itself. Okay. Okay, they've chosen a different theme song, which makes sense, but I would have liked a little bit of nostalgia from the Game of Thrones theme song. That would have been nice. They could add a little bit like a like a tinkling of it at some point later, you know? It's 172 years before Danny's birth. I thought it was going to be about 100 years. It's about 170 years though. Okay. Wow, the dragons must be huge. I'm so excited to see the dragons because this when the Targaryens were at like their height, the dragons were humongous. And I saw some of the promo pictures, they are huge. I know Drogon was huge. I don't remember if he was as big as they get though. <gasps> Dragons! They were so smart to pick this as the first prequel series that they were gonna focus on. Cause I know there's quite a few, right? I know George R. R. Martin was like super excited about the prequel series that they were preparing like years ago when they were first doing it. And they were so smart to pick this one because everyone loves dragons. And everyone loves the Targaryens. I love dragons. There's our girl. Cyrax is growing quickly. Cyrax, okay. 
What I do remember being really good about Game of Thrones is the world building. They really like submerge you into what it was like during this time or in this world. Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra. What a beautiful name. Watch how many kids are going to be born named Rhaenyra after this series. Good morrow, Alicent. Alicent. Okay, I know there's going to be so many names. I'm going to concentrate on remembering the names. Here you are, surrounded by attendants, all focused on the babe. Someone has to attend you. She's pregnant again. The Crown has heard your report, Lord Corliss, and takes it under advisement. Why does that actor look like the guy in Jurassic Park 2 that was zapping the little dinosaurs? Not polite to sneak up on people. The cost of the tournament is not negligible. Perhaps we might. Mm, he wants to keep a sharp mind. Okay, so he's her uncle. Valerian sounds so beautiful to me. I hope for my father that he gets his son. As long as I can recall, it's all he's wanted. Oh. That sucks, I want to fly with you on Dragon Back and eat only cake. I'm being serious. I never just about cake. <laughs> Where are you going? This is beautiful. That's a beautiful shot right there. Ugh. Everything's so beautiful. Can you say yet what it is? Oh. It's a small cut from sitting the throne. It's infected. If it's infected though. The king has been under heavy stresses. It's a wound that refuses to heal, Grandmaster. Oh no. Well, if you're stressed, it does increase the amount of time it takes for your wounds to heal. It's actually proven. Fine. But that looks bad. Can you not wrap it up so it doesn't get infected? He just left it open. That's a big wound to keep open. A whole chunk of flesh just peeled away. This child is a boy, am I? Yeah. I'm certain of it. Wait, so is this child the Mad King? Is that what I read at the start? Okay, embarrassing confession time. <laughs> For this whole video, I think that the Mad King is called Aemon, not Aries. I definitely just misread it. It says it right at the start. In writing, it just tells you the name of the Mad King. But this entire time, I'm thinking it's Aemon. And I base a really prominent part of this video's theory <laughs> on the fact that I think the Mad King is called Aemon. Yeah, so you're just gonna have to deal with that for this video because I literally don't clock it until I was sat here editing. <laughs> So I'm really sorry, but I've left it in because I think it's kind of funny how adamant I am that my theory is correct based off of false knowledge. <laughs> I think she might die in childbirth because if this is the Mad King, he's named Aemon Targaryen, right? And she's called Aema. Maybe it's named after her if she dies in childbirth. My guesses, my theories. I've lost one babe in the cradle, had two stillbirths and two pregnancies oh. ended well before their term. That's five in twice as many years. Oh honey, I'm sorry. That's pressure as well though. Well, no wonder this pregnancy is so uncomfortable. I don't think your body wants it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your body is not prepared for it. You've lost so many. There's too much trauma on the body. Crime of every breed has been allowed. Okay, his voice, is, I'm sure his voice is not that high normally. Has he done this? Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. Fear the color gold. So it is gold. Why did I see red at some point? I feel like there was a lot of red in the pictures. Oh gosh. Wait, I completely spaced. Why are they doing this? No, no, no. Oh! oh my god. Oh no, I'm gonna be sick. What the heck? Oh no. Okay, I wasn't. Oh my god. Why? Why? Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is way more bloody than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god! In his memberments when it was done. Wait, why? It was an unprecedented roundup of criminals of every ilk. You say they were criminals? Snowballs from every corner of the realm are right now descending upon King's Landing for my brother's tourney. Do you want them mugged, raped, murdered? Oh, they're criminals. Oh, if they're rapists, then that's... <laughs> chop, chop them to pieces, okay. I'm terrified. I'm actually okay with this now that I know that there were rapists in there. <laughs> Dismember them, that's fine. If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife. I think my bronze bitch is happier for my absence. Lady Rhea is your wife. A good and honest... What did you just call her? I'd gladly give Lady Rhea to you, Lord Hightower, if you're in want of a woman to warm your bed. <laughs> Damn <laughs> Your own lady wife passed recently. No! Did she not? He's 
such a dick. King's Landing has been in decline since my grandmother passed. Again, it doesn't look very good for it to be made a spectacle, but also, if you don't want stuff like that, then maybe don't murder and rape. Oh, Lord. I was wondering. <laughs> I can't. I was wondering if there was gonna be any sex scenes in this. It's very long scene. <laughs> Queen Emma has begun her labors. Can you imagine you're going into labor and like the whole kingdom is just like, yeah! Like, girl, maybe you just want, she just wants someone to hold her hand. <laughs> it's a bit stressful. The pressure though, I can understand why she's probably lost so many because it's so much, the whole kingdom is depending on you to have a son. That's so much. I heard that Lady Eleanor is hiding the swollen belly beneath her dress. The gossip! <laughs> oh! Oh, he's down. I love the detailing on the drums. Dragons on the drums, we love. Oh, he can choose. Can you imagine if he died? Usually they don't die in these situations, right? The only reason that someone died in the tawny in Game of Thrones, I believe season one, was because he knew something. So he it made it look like an accident by killing someone in the tawny. But usually people don't die. They can get injured really badly, but they don't die during this. Eldest son of the hand of the king. Oh, he chooses this. Oh, <laughs> that is a deliberate choice right there. The eldest son of the hand of the king. He seeks to humiliate. It's interesting because the king looks like he has a kind face, but he's still a Targaryen, so I don't trust. I don't know, but he seems to love his wife and care for her and everything, so I don't know. Oh! Oh, that's cheating! Isn't that cheating? You're supposed to go for the the horse. You're not allowed to do that. I'm so sure he tripped off the horse. <gasps> oh, the horse is fine. The horse is fine. No, but his face is all messed up. Having your Ooh. favor would all but assure it. Girl, I would not get involved with this guy. I'm not gonna lie, man. Oh, is that her father? Good luck, my prince. <laughs> drama, drama, drama. <laughs> Oh, I think she's gonna die in childbirth. She's gonna die during the tawny. The infant is in breach, Your Grace. Oh, All no. attempts to turn the baby have failed. Oh gosh, she's gonna die. Oh my gosh. They can't. They don't do C-sections back then, do they? Or unless they, if they cut her, there's a higher chance that she's gonna die. Bleeding. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Marvel that war didn't break out at first blood. <sighs> they seem so wise. <gasps> You saw that whole, oh my gosh, you really saw it go straight into his face. <sighs> that was so unpleasant to witness. <laughs> my love, she's gonna die. You're gonna have to cut her. Oh gosh. I knew it. I didn't want it to be true because he seems like he really loves her. Are they brother and sister? <laughs> to make an impossible choice. Ah, here we go. The child or the mother. I think he's gonna choose the child. He's gonna pick the child. You can save the child. Oh gosh! He needs that heir. <laughs> apparently a woman will not do. Oh! Oh, his face. There are missing parts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you think he really wants that heir so bad because he doesn't want Damon to inherit the crown? Because I, I don't think Damon should be king. <laughs> They're going to bring the baby out now. Oh my gosh, he chose the kid. Mm. Oh my gosh. I love you. Do you? Oh gosh, she's got to be awake during it. Is there no way that they can like put her to sleep? Oh no, please. Oh no, I don't want to hear the screams. They're holding her down. Oh my gosh, they can't knock her out for this. Yeah, they're going to bring the baby Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna. I can't see this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's down. Oh, he got dragon wings on his helmet. I just saw that. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. He's got one of them swinging things. Oh, a spike on the end. I know Damon's not gonna die because it'd be so stupid if he died in the first episode. He could get injured though, and I know this is gonna be brutal as hell when someone breaks through the armor. Oh, his shield is breaking! 
Am I wrong? No, they can't kill Matt Smith. <laughs> oh god, okay, thank you. We can't hear the screams. I d oh my gosh, oh my gosh. C-sections are like not traumatizing now because women don't, they don't feel the pain, but literally they're ripping apart and she can feel every second. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, I feel so nauseous right now. Stop showing it, I don't wanna see. I think supposedly they're doing this in, it's not really her honor though, is it? It's in honor of the child. Oh! Oh, bitch. That was traumatizing and I only saw snippets of it because I could not watch that whole thing. Oh my gosh, your mother. Your mother is dead. He's Dornish. I was hoping to ask for the princess's favor. Teehee. <laughs> she said teehee. <laughs> you have a son, a new heir, your grace. How do you feel? I bet bad. Yeah, she does feel bad though. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about this because he says he loves her. <sighs> Wait, he chose the child. Babe. No! Don't call it Balin. I thought you were gonna call it Eamon. Am I wrong? I thought it was Eamon this whole time. <laughs> He's called it Balin! <laughs> Wait, was I wrong? Is Eamon Balin's child? No. I refuse to believe that I'm wrong. <laughs> I am right and I will die on this hill. Is the dragon gonna set fire to the pyre? That would be pretty awesome. That would be a great funeral for like a Targaryen. How perfect. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's her still. I thought it was gonna be two bodies. Oh, she's gonna hate her dad for his decision. See, she was never enough and now her mother is gone because the dad wanted a son that bad. Dracaris. Am I right? Dracaris! I'm a Targaryen. <laughs> I knew it. Sick. Did the son also die? So it was for nothing. But I consider the matter urgent. That of your succession. Oh, wow. He did die. I wasn't sure if I saw a little body or if it was just from a different angle. Oh my gosh. He chose. And now he's left with no one. I mean, we, we know we've got our main girl here, but to him... That's not an heir. He has to remarry, right? The king's firstborn child, Rhaenyra. Or maybe she's the mother of Aemon. 172 years is a long time to stay alive, so it probably won't be Aemon that we're seeing. I think I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I did the math wrong. My bad, my bad, guys. Sorry. I thought you might go to him. Give him a child. In his chambers. Bruh! Did you just whore out your child? He'll be glad of a visitor. Oh, 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 yuck. You might wear one of your mother's dresses. No, no. Mmm, icky, icky, gross, nasty, disgusting, repulsive. Why, dad, why? What if she gets pregnant from this grief? situation <laughs> and then the heir and then he has to marry her but she's his daughter's friend mm. oh it's messy but what did i expect it's a targaryen story so <laughs> i'm so sorry he's just sat there so depressed surrounded by all of this to the king's son styling him the heir for a day the evening was by all accounts a celebration Oh no! After he fought and he defended his brother this whole time against everyone, and he disrespects him like this. You have no allies at court but me! I have only ever defended you! Fact. And the blood of the dragon runs thick. Then why do you cut me so deep? I've only ever spoken the truth. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. An unwavering and loyal A hand. A cunt! <laughs> Probably why he sent his daughter to potentially be impregnated by the king, right? You're weak. Oh! <gasps> Viserys. Oh, Viserys is, seem to be weak. Seems to be a weak name. <laughs> Cut himself on that stupid chair. Just testing. Am I still the blood of the dragon? Do I burn? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Targaryen must understand this to be king or queen. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if a friend is pregnant? Damon was not made to wear the crown. Wow. But I believe that you were. Promise to be faithful to King Viserys and his named heir. But that's not what she wanted. 
No, but she wa she wanted to be enough, but she also didn't want to rule, did she? She wanted to just go play with her dragons and eat cake. Or is she just trying to brush it off because she knew that she would never be named heir anyway? Rickon Stark, Lord of Winterfell. Ah, Winterfell! We see a Stark! <laughs> Seeing Rickon as a grown man is so funny to me because the only Rickon I knew was the boy, right? Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. that okay 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 guys that was really good it felt so epic it just feels like i'm back in that world it's so interesting because i know i've got the books here and i've had them for so many years but i actually only recently started reading them i tried to read the first one years ago when i first got the book and just I kept doing that with books. I would get to like page 150 or something, then I would stop. I did the same with Lord of the Rings. I did the same with Mortal Instruments. I did the same with uh, Beautiful Creatures, but I finally finished the first one. I just started the second book. So I'm kind of already in that world. I have been for the past like two weeks now, but it just feels different seeing it on screen for the first time, meeting new characters, seeing it acted fantastically. I really like the introduction to these characters. I feel like we got a good feel for who they are and potentially what storyline is gonna go through this series i am so excited for what's to come but let me know what you guys thought of this episode let me know what you guys thought of this video but i think that is it for today's video guys if you wanted to hear more from me my socials are also linked down below that is my instagram my twitter and my tiktok they're all at monica katapusan same as my youtube name and thank you guys for watching if you stayed until this point now i'll see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>